Hi there, welcome to Bug Out with Bree. Bree here again, community science specialist from the Pacific Grove Museum of Natural History. This week I was just strolling around my neighborhood and I noticed on these daisies a white pea-sized orb. Let me see if I can bring it closer so you can see. I'm wondering what this could be. After my walk, I rushed home to do some research. I found out that these white foamy orbs were actually insects called the meadow spittlebug, and they hatch during springtime. So that's why we're seeing them all around the seaside daisies. So we're gonna continue this week's lesson on insects, specifically the spittlebug, and talk about its very special survival tactic that it has during its nymph stage. These bugs are part of the true bug order. True bugs are insects but they are a special group of insects called hemipterian insects. Hemiptera, or true bugs, are an order of insects comprising of 50,000 to 80,000 species of bugs, such as cicadas, aphids, plant hoppers, leaf hoppers, and shield bugs. There are a few characteristics that define a true bug. The first is their piercing or sucking mouth parts. Second is their two-part forewings, so their wings split into two. And the last one is a triangular base between the two wings. So you can see in the picture that green area. But spittlebugs are a very unique type of insect. A spittlebug is the nymph stage of a frog hopper. During the springtime, spittlebug nymphs encase themselves in foam. The foam is produced from the spittlebug sucking up small amounts of sap from its host plant and then excreting it by pumping a specialized gland in its abdomen. The sap isn't that nutritious, so the spittlebug has to drink a lot of water. They drink 150 to 280 times their own body weight of water. That would be like me drinking 2,700 gallons of water a day. Then they use their hind legs to cover themselves in its bubbly home. The foam serves three purposes. First, it protects the small insects from predators, such as birds and other insects. Second, the spittle keeps the moist nymph from drying out. And third, the foam insulates the creature from fluctuating temperatures. Are you wondering how they breathe inside these foam encasings? Well, they stick their abdomen out of the bubble and they break the surface to breathe, kind of like a snorkel. There are five stages in a spittlebug's life cycle. The nymph is born wingless and green, and within a course of several weeks, the spittlebug goes through all five stages to become an adult frog hopper. Remember to look closely at the nature surrounding your area. You never know what could be hiding in the smallest of places. See you next week.